Hey everybody, Roughies here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Now, last episode, I uh, had to crush a few rebellions, because they got all uppity when I uh, started running out of troops. So I've crushed them, and I took the Kingdom of Bulgaria away from the guy who did control it, and gave it away as a vice royalty to this guy, because I didn't want to deal with a lot of angry Bulgarian vassals. Um, I also managed to take away the Duchy of Achaea from... This guy is currently rotting in prison. Um, I could actually just... I mean, do I want to revoke his titles? I can't revoke his titles. Not my, he's not my vassal anymore. So what I will do instead is uh, take advantage of the fact that I can do this. And... Oh, he was... Did I not want to remove his stuff? Well, I did remove his stuff. I meant his titles. Um, oh, well, well. I got the wrong person anyway. Anyway. But sacrifices have to be made. Um, count him. That guy. Yep. So he's now eunuch. Good. And who was... I'm pretty sure it was this. No. This it's this guy's liege. Yeah, this guy. He's imprisoned by me. Do... Kal Kaloyan. Prince Kaloyan. There you go. So I lose some piety, but that's not really the end of the world. I have a lot of piety. Um, but yeah, so they're now dealt with for their rebellious ways. Does that actually reduce my people's opinion of me? No, it doesn't. That's fine. That is good. Because, oh, I am cruel, though. Well, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll live with that. So yeah, um, then I started pressing, where is he? This guy's claim. For the Kingdom of, of Venice. Because of course I, I took the actual Merchant Republic of Venice. Away from the uh, Serene Doge. Who then became a king. So th their power base is basically gone. Because the only thing that was keeping them in the game was their money. And their pretty decent holdings in Venice itself. So they've lost that. So now I'm pressing this guy's claim. And I was going to give him a like new title. I was building one wasn't I? Can't remember where. But I'm sure it'll appear. So I'm just going to group everyone in Constantinople. And then I'm going to go crush this army. And then once I've landed this uh, this guy, castle in Venezia. Cool. Right. So this guy can, uh, once he's landed, I'll have him convert as well. So you can have the Barony of Torcello. And then I'll demand religious conversion. Lovely. So I have a Greek. I'm going to have a Greek vassal king for the time being until he revolts and I take his title away from him. And that will be Venice. Gone. Oh, after 100 years under the Sultan of Rum, the Mengujic Bay of Blick is now considered a jure part of the Kingdom of Armenia. So let's have a look. So Rum is actually there. So if I, I could wipe it out. If I take that duchy next, I then control 100% of the land in the Kingdom of Rum. So I can usurp that. And I can already usurp the Kingdom of Anatolia. So then this guy would lose all his Duke vassals. Hmm. I may have to do that. Because then I'll be able to just holy war them all. Like, I could even go for all at the same time. If I was really adventurous. Which I might end up doing. But anyway, yeah, that's good to know. Now it's du jour. Now I can actually take it. Very nice. And, of course, then I'd have uh, the Sultan of Rome, which is quite a nice little uh, pet kingdom to have. And I could actually just have a pet kingdom just there of two counties. Essentially a duke. Uh, oh, well, that guy lost his claim war, which is unfortunate. But these... Oh, wow, there's loads of wars. He's winning that one. And then there's this claim for Anatolia. I would very much like it if they actually lost those wars. Because, as in the, the Sultan lost the wars. Because then it's going to split his realm. Which is very nice. And also, new rulers to Holy War. So we don't have to worry about another truce breaker. I don't care about that. And my wife is pregnant. Maybe I'll have a, maybe I'll have a son. Which would suck. Because this daughter is turning out really well. And also, I noticed this before I started recording. Uh, Poland is, con is controlling most of Finland and all of Sweden. Which is pretty nice. Except when you look to see who she actually is. And she used to be my dad's wife. I could have had a Komnenoi in control of most of Northern Europe. Missed out on that though. Because 
he died too soon, I think. So, oh well. I don't need, I don't need Northern Europe. I've got Southern Europe. As bloody hell, the Aztecs taking over. Scotland's taking Ireland. Uh, I'm gonna let this roll a little bit. Rhodos has converted to Orthodox. That's good. Is that all Islamic? No, some's West. Well, some is still West African. The Ibids, what are they involved in? They are fighting. Uh, does your war over Tripolitania? Uh, the Mafusids, Masufids, rather. And is that an? It is an Ibid revolt war for someone's claim on Syria. So that's the Kingdom of Syria. Does this guy control all three? He does. Awesome. If that splits the realm, I am all for it. Now, what's he got? He's on 82% decadence. The Ayyubids may implode soon, like the uh, Abbasids did in Nestoria Strikes Back. Uh, not Nestoria Strikes Back, that's, um, Nestoria said nothing wrong. Getting confused. Okay, so I can... Uh, I'm going to threaten him because he's craven, so that means he's more likely to give in to that instead of the other two. And I'm going to attack this army. I'm crossing a straight. And he will not scheme against me, which is good. So I'm going to... Oh, God, this guy's... Uh, Thing is great. So I'm gonna who who's my next most powerful vassal? Pannonia. Of course it's Pannonia, that makes sense. What's he does he like me? Oh I've got a oh my brother is in control. Yes, I gave him that I gave him control of it, didn't I? Yes. Um and I also got did I get Sinop back? No, Sinop is still under that control. So when this guy's... Hang on. Oh, wait, he's inherited it. Okay, fair enough. Wait, yeah. Oh, yes, I married them matrilineally. I remember now. I'm getting confused, then. I thought it was a vice royalty. Okay, so that guy is not actually going to turn against me. He loves me at the moment. Yeah, because he's, uh, he's content and kin and all of that good stuff. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, where's this army going? It's heading to Corinthos. To Corinth, where they're on, they're losing a fight to 23 men. Hundreds of people were running away from 23 guys. Good job, guys. Great soldiering. And I'm on 55%. I'm going to go occupy the land they have. It's not much. So there is that. Um, do I have the ranking guard raised? I don't, because I have no money. I may raise them just so they can start occupying that city. Because then, obviously, once I've got Galata, then I fully control Constantinople, which is a great thing to have in itself. Okay, so this guy lost his war for something, and he's still in a claim on rum war, which he is winning. So yes, that's that's my plan. I'm, I am I'm, I think I'll go with that. Start usurping the titles from it. Um, I can't usurp. The, oh, I've just realised I can't usurp the kingdom of Armenia from him because. I can't usurp a title that the, uh, another religion has lands in. So I will ex I will be able to take rum from him, which is good. Um, which I think would mean he loses control of these guys over here. Wait, no. What have I... Oh, it's Al An Anatolia, not Armenia, that he has. Yeah, so he would lose control of those guys. Um, I think. So it wouldn't actually be... It would half his empire, his kingdom, if I did take those two bits of land because then I'd usurp it and here we go, because it's primary title. Oh, not 100% sure about that, but okay. Uh, anyway, in fact, what are we looking at in terms of the rest of it? They're not as you're drifting. Fair enough. Oh, of course, because he controls Anatolia, so it's not anything in Anatolia is not going to do your drift. That's fine. I'm getting confused now. Uh, I've improved relations with the Duke, the King of Hungary. This guy is ambitious. I'm going to move this guy to there. That's some really great chancellors and all that sort of stuff. Do I have any claimants I can get? I keep wondering this and I just I just can't. Um wasn't I married to someone? Yes. Yes, I what? No. Really? I thought that Ah yes. He is gonna when he dies, if I can kill him. I can't kill him. I'm gonna try and kill him. Uh when he dies, his claim will pass to his children. One of them being my wife. So it becomes a weak claim. So then I can press hers. Uh, at the very least, white piece out if I don't want her to actually get the land. 
And then I've had a son. Alexius Komnenos. Yes, I'll keep it, keep him called Alexius. Because why not? So, now I've got a new son. Which is good. But I was my daughter was pretty decent, to be fair. So, it's not really the best thing to have. But, ah, uh, well. Don't want to go for max centralization. Because I don't need the domain limit. And I need the vassal leeway that I have. Which is good. I'm actually going to... Am I going to rush this down? I'm going to rush this down. Yes, I'm going to take some losses and it's going to cost me money. I've gained so much money. Holy shit. When did that happen? Who died? Someone died. Uh, it must be in here. Uh, how the hell did I gain all that money? I didn't notice. I'll have to go through the, through the video myself and find out when that happened. But okay, cool. I have a lot of money. And also saving, hopefully not crashing. I'm not always good. Uh, I'm actually going to hire the Varangian guard. Oh, I'd already got them. Okay, doesn't matter then. I was going to hire them and have them start occupying that city, but I already have them, so it's not really the end of the world. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Where have you appeared? You are leading troops in Nicopolis. Hang on. Nicopolis. Have they not appeared on the map yet? Perhaps not. Okay, well, I'm going to raise all my guys. Uh, I'm sure that, that Nicopolis is... Hang on, let me just find title. Nick. Nicopolis. Oh, it's... No, it's Col Colonia. Nicopolis. County Nicopolis. There. Okay. 90,000 men. Is that it? Oh, there's, there's another 10,000 there. Okay, fair enough. So, um, I'm going to group those three kings worth of soldiers down here. In fact, everyone in southern Italy, southern Greece will group in where I'm actually currently sieging. They can go there. They can retreat up to there. They can go there as well. This lot can group actually in Nikea. Because it's far enough away they may be able to gather up there. Same with this lot. And the Aegean Isles are not doing anything, so I'm going to send them over here as well. So I may be able to... I should be able to win this war against Venice, such as it is. And from there... I mean, in the moment, he's sort of splitting up his troops to try and, I assume, cut these guys off. But I may be able to get them out alive. Oh, no, they're not. They're just going to start occupying land. That is fine. They're also going to fight some of my some of my vassals for some reason. Which is fine. Always fine. And I'm going to win this war pretty soon. What's the, what's the 21,000... Oh, Peasant Revolt in Bereg. Where's Bereg? Pretty sure Bereg sounds like... Yeah, it's all the way up there. That's fine. Do whatever you want up there. Don't care. Going to occupy this holding now. Lovely. Yep, there we go. 100%. So, the claimant is landed. And there we go. So, now I have the King of Venice. Who is... Currently, it's like a tiny thing there, because he's not actually the ruler. He, his capital is a barony, which is a bit odd. Um, yes, so he is a very weak king. Maybe I can revoke his title. Hang on, he's converted to Catholic again. Well, that won't do. I have a claim on it. Well, I'm going to revoke it then. <laughs> okay, I don't know how I get I have a claim, but fair enough. Everyone is going to group in Ephesus, Epirus, Epirus, yes, of course it's Epirus. Uh, I've got 10,000 men there, that's growing at the moment. Send them up as well. Lovely. Oh. Okay, so I now control the Kingdom of Venice. Do I want to, I will give it, I'll, I'll have another Serene Doge, I think. Why does he, why does he hate me? Oh, you want the land. Okay, transfer vassal. You can have Baron of Tokelo. And then I'm going to give you a 
I can't give you. Oh, I can't give you the kingdom. Why can't I give you the kingdom? That sucks. I want to give him the kingdom, but it's not the end of the world at the same time. So what I'll do is give it to not that guy because he's Italian. I might destroy it. I mean, what is what's de jour in Kingdom of Venice? Just just the Republic of Venice. He already dislikes me, so I'm going to destroy it. He can create it himself if he wants. So, there we go. I no longer have a kingdom title to worry about. Probably could have kept on to that, to be honest. Stopped him becoming a serene doge, but I don't really care. Um, it would have given me some prestige, which was nice, but I have enough prestige. I am I am the Byzantine Emperor. Can't get much more prestigious than that. So, I'm going to send that army over there with the 27,500 guys. This 14,000 guys will move on to Constantinople. So, they're a bit closer. Um... What is that? That's Hill. So there will be the slight advantage they've got there, but I don't think it's going to be enough to turn the tide in the battle. Oh, but there is a river crossing to Philopolis, apparently, which doesn't make much sense. I'm going to head to Adrianopolis and then into Moesia. Excellent news. I've gained a lot of money. Not as much money as I ran in the game before, but uh, still good. They're heading to... Where have they gone? They head to there. Is there a river crossing there? There is not. Okay. Well, that's fine too. Will I be able to catch them? Uh, no, I'm not. Well, I doubt it anyway. Yep, they're going to get to Ternu. They're getting on the other side of the, Dan of the Danube. That's annoying. Um, That's fine. I'll just head up to there. Across the river. And... I mean, it's plains there, so whatever. Let's go for it. It's not like we're getting a terrain bonus as well as the river crossing penalty for me. So I may be able to turn this. They will send people to help. Won't be enough. Will not be anywhere near enough. Heading there and then to Ternu back again because I imagine that's where that's where they're going to go. So they'll head to Ternu and then to Severin. What is that? Oh, that is. Yeah, it's his, it's his army. It's a nice banner, I have to say. It looks quite Holy Roman. Uh, that army can go and chase them. Actually, no, they're gonna. This, this army's gonna combine in Severin. Just because them combined is quite a force, and I don't want to risk it. So if I completely crush them with force of arms, I'll be fine. Um, there we go. Forty thousand guys are now starving to death. So I better be quick about this. Charge across. Absolutely crush them. Go to there, and then to Teverest, Tiragost, Tergavist. There we go. I got there eventually. Someone's converted. That's good. I don't really overly care that much, but it's good to know. Crushing that army. I'm on 100% war score, but I might as well finish it off. And I've got my own... I've, oh, yeah, I've got the Peasant Revolt to deal with. I forgot that was happening. Continue on to Turnu. No point letting him get away. With 16,000 men. Might as well completely crush him. Oh, stop it. Don't be silly. Well, now you've done and fucked up, haven't you? There we go. Right. 100% war score. Enforce demands. I will have your 900 odd gold. Thank you very much indeed. And this guy's going to go up to there. This army's not... this. These 31,610... Oh, it's gone up now. Guys are going to go and crush them. And the Hungarian despot has just done that for some reason. Which is odd, but fair enough. And I'm going to demand this guy's religious conversion. He's going to say no. What are you trying to do? Fabricate a claim? None of that. Thank you very much. And you've rebelled. Okay. I am shaking with fear. Okay, so this army's going to head up to there. And it's going to head straight down to there. There we go. That's my campaign set out for the year. And... I'm just going to let it play out because that's how it's going to go. You are not going to rebel against me just because I want to take I want to imprison you for trying to kill my guys. Oh, stop running away. Where are they going now? Okay, head there first. I'm losing a lot to attrition, but it's not going to be anywhere enough to save these guys. So that's that peasant revolt dealt with. This army can go down here. And it forced peace. And I don't particularly care, so I'm going to demand religious conversion. And then I can imprison him again. And then I'm going to castrate him. 
Gino. Goodbye, Gino. You are now... Well, you're definitely not a peasant leader anymore. And then I'm going to banish him. I'm going to order him to take the vows. There you go. Be a good eunuch. Lovely stuff. So, that's been quite a productive episode. Thank you very much for watching. Um, next episode, I'll probably finish off this thing. And then start looking towards... Um, over here again. Because, I mean, have I got a truce? I've got a truce with Rom until 1311, so I've got four more years of that. Once that's dealt with, I'll be able to uh, start taking more land from them again. I may look west again, try and reclaim Sicily itself. Sicily's a very nice kingdom to get. It's pretty decent. It doesn't currently have many men, because it's embroiled in a war with, with the Pope, which is odd. Um, what's going on here? Jacob the Lude's War for Pinot. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Is he is he fighting? He is. No, he's not. I don't know. Something's happening. But yes. We're going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.